Welcome everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you, and we're going to get started. Just a little clearing. Today is February 6, 2020. And it's a very kind of rainy day here. It's not too, too cold out, but it's very rainy. And I slept very late today, which I never do. I can never sleep this late. And um, as a matter of fact, I didn't wake up till 11.01. And six is the day of the lovers. And the day adds up to the 12, which is the hangman. Okay, seeing other sides of the situation, new perspectives, wisdom. And six is also of love in a very practical way in your daily life. Just everyday family love, being in service to each other. So the Syrian Starseed deck today was cut and dealt at 1149, which is the Get Your Wish card, the Nine of Cups. And 11, of course, is Justice. And then at 1155, which is the Ace, which is the Ace of Swords, the Truth, um, in the cards, as I was clarifying being covered, it came out F orbs, like, you know, like, screw those thoughts, right? And then at 1157, 57 being the Three of Swords, um, the masculine was being present to the truth. So we finished the read at 1206 to 7 again. So we have the Lovers and the Chariot and the Hangman. And the Major Arcana were the Wheel, the Great Wheel, and the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. Before the read, Reflection came up, which is the Hermit in this deck, the Syrian Starseed deck. And after the read, the Devil and Indigo came up, the devil um, is shadow in this deck, and then indigo is the magician. So for those of you who aren't familiar with me, I always pull a few cards on either end of the read, and I do use them within the read. And don't forget, this is a general read for the Divine Mass and Twin Flame, so it's it's it'll resonate for the Mass and within the feminine as well. And remember, it is a general read, though, okay? So if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't force it to fit your situation. And this is all about just opening up to a new perspective and also opening up your code-breaking abilities. All right, so a lot of times you may not understand it directly because spirit doesn't want you to. It's supposed to awaken your curiosity about something, which then will lead you to your own codes and code-breaking. So we had, let's see, four swords in this read, one pentacle, one one pentacle, two wands, and two cups. So mostly swords today. So that's why the F orbs, because orbs is thoughts. So it's about the fact that you're in your head too much today, obsessing or intellectualizing too much, because we have four swords, one pentacle, two wands, and two cups. The court cards were the knight of swords. Uh, that was the only court card in the read. And then before the read, we had the queen of swords and the knight of wands. And after the read, the king of wands and the king of swords. So we did have three kings today, which always brings up the wise men. And again, the hangman, which is wisdom. And number wise and code line wise was all about moderation and pride. And the numbers were 11, as far as double numbers, was the only one that was doubled. So that was significant for justice. Um, the code line added up to number to five. It was three and two, which is five. And five has to do with fr change, freedom, expansion, energies. And then the three of the empress and the two of the high priestess. Five also being the hierophant. The code line was all about moderation and pride, but the M was covered. So it was coming up as odoration. So some people may, ha may have um, odor issues or issues with their smelling or... Um, or are very sensitive to smell, so it's hard for them to be around foul odors, that kind of thing. But also pride was coming up that the masculine needs to work on is pride and let go of being right, right? Do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? So that's always coming up regarding pride. So, but the odoration was also coming up as operation. So that'll come up in just a moment. Um, the code line was focused on the three of orbs, which is the three of swords, the heartbreak and separation can be some surgery for somebody as well, but something that is not too significant. And then um, the fidelity of artificial intelligence of heartbreak, that separation is not real, to the kiss of death. So some masons may think that moderation is the kiss of death, right? Because they like excess and everything. 
Um, also, two exes was coming up of moderation and pride. So the masculine may have had um, ex-partners who were all about saving and and their pride and how things look. And like, so he may feel proud about having had enough of that, right? So there may be a, a rejection to that kind of energy because it was forced down his throat before. And then also faith in the after death, right? Because we're talking about the 12 of the hangman, Jesus on the cross, and the awakening, the after death, the I am presence connection and the faith to that, right? The patience and faith. And three humans, like, uh, and it's like cursing, the, cursing their thoughts and words, right? So F those orbs, right? Um, and three can also reference to the nth degree being a shaman, the re, the, the native Indian um, energy. Um, the more you complain, the more restricted you are to moderation and pride. And again, odor, Asian. And Asian has to do with starvation of something. So starvation of odor or not using that sense and you need to use your smell sense. And I'm just getting a lot of, I'm, like there's no smoke in my room, but I'm seeing smoke in my room. So I'm seeing some energy go by. So that was important about using your senses more, especially your sense of smell. So a lot of us probably need to use our sense of smell more to note um, our psychic abilities. All right. So starvation of smell. Use your sense of smell. And then operation, like I told you, also came up. And that could have to do with starvation of the opera. So maybe some of you need to go back to the opera because it was something that you loved in your past, but you haven't been in many, many years. Um, also, it could be a mother hung up on deodorizing due to pride of her home, right? So it always has to be perfect and clean and vacuumed and smell right. Or putting off, a mother who may be putting off an operation due to her pride because she won't be able to keep up appearances if she has surgery. So some of the online headers were just all about orbs, Okay. So there's a music group, The Orbs. Um, also the site, too, came up, TWOO.com. And then Calgary Witness, photographer of three orbs and UFOs, UFOMG. And that date was 10 17 Orbs in energy streamer form and malevolent orb part three. And that was October 22, 2012. And then another header was the Orb series box set. It was an audio book by Nicholas Sansbury. Another one was seeing orbs without cameras and ghosts, hauntings, dot, dot, dot. And then that was March 18th, 2013. And the last one was orbs imaging, which is an imaging process method, okay, the ORB. So getting into this read, oh, by the way, the other numbers that came up were 11, 1, 2, 3, jump, 67, which is the Knight of Pentacles, which is the loyal, faithful, humble servant that the twins are the nine of the hermit, the 35 of the wounded warrior, the Mary Magdalene energy, the 79 of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, 23 is the king of wands, and 56, the two of swords, the being in your knowing, and then 42, 41, 22 came up, which is 41 and 22, which is the ace of cups and the fool. That self-love, spiritual love, and new love of the fool's journey, which is all about what the tarot is about. So we start this read at the wheel the great wheel here, which is the wheel of fortune, the cards beneath it are reflection, the queen of swords, the five of cups, and then the knight of wands or knight of flames. So the, the wands are flames in this deck, uh, swords are orbs, pentacles are crystals, and cups are chalices. But I just I speak in the normal language so it's easier to understand. And the other decks have different um, symbolisms, you know. So we have the Rider Waite Mini as clarifier, it's a seven deck read. We have the Numerology deck, the Romance Angel deck, the Tarot of Sexual Magic, the Gilded Tarot, and the Universal Golden Tarot as well. I think that's all of them. Okay, so in the slowdown, or retrograde perhaps, twist of fate, after the hermit is over-isolating or sleeping a lot, like I did this morning, the Queen of Swords reversed, grieving, the Knight of Wands reversed, player, or just falling short on their energy supply because maybe you've been putting out too much energy lately. At 1237, which is the Hangman and the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles is strategizing or implementing a plan in the downturn in order to break patterns, feeling dead tired, near death, 
resisting transformation, change, or ending taking forever under the radar, or bad news, I was just getting bad news bears coming up again, or feeling a failure with no attention, seeking approval for self outside themselves or from others, and their world upside down or in another world and feeling like you need closure, right? So that's caring what other people think when you need closure. Or reflection or the king of pentacles upright is sealed divine feminine in another world, right? They're reflecting each other. The king of pentacles upright and the, and the world reversed is, they're on, the world's on top of the king of pentacles. So it's showing me a reflection of the sealed divine feminine in another world being a reflection, right? The other side of the coin from the King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles has mastered manifestation in this world, right? So that's his higher self, the sealed divine feminine. When the King of Pentacles is on his game, right? All about the money because it's manifestation abilities, right? Manifesting your dreams. The divine feminine is not performing, too tired or not wanting attention when the world is turned around sleeping in order to ground, right? So the masculine can physically manifest. Under the radar, and then undercover boss was coming up, or seeking attention when the world is not willing to give it, or not wanting attention when the world is upside down, incomplete, and wanting closure. In a break in contract, religion, establishment, or divorce, or a Taurus reversed, right? Not their happy self today. Um, or, or alternative beliefs, anti-establishment, or not anti, or just different from the usual. Fighting, conflicted, competing, playing games on a quest to the sunshine, to full exposure, to childlike energy of the inner child. The divine feminine without attention or hiding out, no energy or negative news, or taking a day off from attention, or undercover Pisces reversed, Taurus reversed, on a quest to be a star, or Taurus reversed fighting for their kids, um, or energy or full exposure of happiness or vacation, or fighting competing with Leo upright or ego, or a childlike boss, or a flash mob performance, thriller, or sham fight or standoff, playoffs or cheerleaders without the Pope's blessing, or goes against your religion for co-ed sports or conflicts, or for your kids to play with their kids, or a West Side Story, or a cult, cultish in appearance. The race for outside approval from any leader outside yourself, where you should be the last word on you, not them, bowing down to another or kissing their feet should only be done as an act of love, not worship or ownership. Or fighting to free self from restraints of religion, establishment, the boys club, societal norms, for your kids at 1258, which is the hangman and the four of swords, resting, connecting in 5D, praying, meditating, sleeping, lay to rest, or not just for your children, but your own inner child as well. Or in other words, slowing down to catch up to you. The high priestess reversed with a secret out or a need to use your intuition um, we have an Emperor Upright, Page of Pentacles Upright, and a Queen of Pentacles Upright here in the underlying energy. The family hierarchy or, and or legacy, a conglomerate and each family member with their own business perhaps, or the Emperor is the sole provider to stay at home wife and kids, or the Emperor is in control with an opportunity or invitation to, extended to the Queen of Pentacles, wanting to study the gold coin with her, willing to be neutral and green, and humble self to learn and make a mountain into a molehill. Less divide, more openness, perhaps help clean up around the house a bit. A student taking the lead with the emperor on the back burner or allowing child to shine above him along with their mother to display their hard work or perhaps crafts and creations, a work of art or back to school night perhaps. Heart to heart conversations is coming up and beneath that calling in your soulmate no more casual sex partners and no longer sharing bed with a partner that is just sex and no love, holding back money, time and energy and a new life for the one, the dream girl, the star, the healer, or dreams come true, getting attention for self from your own merit. No surprise or not shocked if the queen of pentacles makes you beg or cook dinner or wax your chest knowing he really hurt her and played with her heart or realizing if you stopped doing what your partner demanded, 
or cut off funds, she'd be cold to you and make you beg for attention because there's no love. Um, Libra reversed, Scorpio reversed, Pisces reversed, Taurus reversed, and then Leo upright and Aquarius upright here. Environment came up, which is number 44, which is all about the green environment and mastering your, your love, which has to do with mastering being kind to your environment and Mother Earth. And below that was teaching and learning, which is purple or third eye. So you're the heart and the third eye and having to do with church teaching and learning, which is 57 about separation and heartbreak, which is just detachment from your higher self. So the queen of cups is reversed here, perhaps moody cancer and indecisive Pisces or queen of cups reverses feeling sad or manipulative without options at night when all the world's asleep and her world is complete, so she may be find, finding peace then. Uh, at 117, which is Magician and the Star. Synchronicities come out then for her, perhaps, or options in heaven in her eyes, taking a walk or a hike at night to clear their mind, or just before sunup and ready for a new day, a little scoundrel is up before the world as the sun rises and gets all the good stuff first, right? The early bird gets the worm, an offer of a new life seeing the world in a whole new light in walking away and within, or perhaps skiing or skating alone or at night in a peaceful place. When the moon is full up all night in the mountains or open fields, then the sun god takes over to take things to a new level, taking the old used or worn out cups and making them new or into something else, or seeing the dogs poop on the lawn as fertilizer that it is and the rocks and overgrowth Another way of looking that, at that is a place for animals to play and hide and the stormy skies to fill those cups and nourishing the ivy for healthy growth. Every day a new life, sunrise, sunset, swiftly go the years at 126, which is the magician and the, the uh, page of wands. A new life to slow down, expose all in the sunshine to two different queen of pentacles or two parts of the same woman one who is abundant and who focuses on the gold coin and raises him up, and one who focuses on her pain, refusing to look in the mirror, only sees self, not others, and expects them to cater to her or make her the star. And then again, the environment comes up, the green environment of 44. Making space more green or healthy, using higher self-connection. In the recent past is the Nine of Swords, suffering in silence, stressed out, or purging with a new life hanging over your head, Move, moving to peace away from the workplace, onto a quest to spend time with the Page of Swords reversed and the Knight of Pentacles, perhaps kids, or away from people at work who are acting like kids, or taking a vacation for a new perspective so that you can come back together at work and get back in the game, not intimidated by smart mouths and loyal servants who expect you to lead or give them clarity all the time instead of making their own decisions. So the Queen of Swords reversed comes up here, the Devil upright, the Empress reversed, and the Knight of Cups upright. So the Queen of Swords reversed, very deeply hurt, grieving the Devil or Capricorn, and out of control Empress reversed, or someone who's ill, disabled, um, could be a parent, and the Knight of Cups could be a son or an offer of love. So it's like the, it's kind of like the dark mother loving son energy right there. So at 138, which is the Magician and the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords reversed has clarity, but unable to decide on a clear path to go, to go on due to perhaps a dependent parent at a facility or a home or living with you and or a loving child living with you or them or offering their love to support or a child living at home offering their love to support a parent and or a grandparent. The foundation is the Ace of Swords upright, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Judgment, decision, announcement, or wake-up call, ending all the pain, now the worst is over, now in bliss state, falling short on energy or holding back desires, or physical activities due to injury, the sun comes out suddenly, exposing all, kids happy that the player got played and is out of their life. The Knight of Wands humbled suddenly by exposure, sunshine, or sudden event or epiphany, blowing their top, crown or cover, or running for cover while the kids save the day, right? So someone 
um, embarrassing themselves because they were scared and ran where the kids actually were, were courageous and saved the day. The central energy is the Ace of Wands with new passion ignited through sleep, rest, prayer, and meditation. I was just getting Metatron as well. The 5D connect insecurities or lack of tools holding back time, money, and energy in order to start a new life. No options in exile or in destitution, injured, or illness, out in the cold, abandoned, but you've forgotten that you have each other, the divine feminine patiently waiting for the masculine to walk beside her, offering self-love, new love, in addition to passion, the challenge being the Three of Swords heartbreak, the separation, or surgery perhaps, sudden truth out, all hits the fan, the suffering and silence of the Empress reversed, receiving the messenger of truth as they rush in, perhaps an official message or delivery, grieving loss, guilt, shame, or of confession, dropping burdens and responsibilities. There's no news or silent treatment, spying, immature message, or superficial conversation with the Ten of Pentacles reversed dysfunctional family, business, legacy, or loss of money, and the Four of Wands home or marriage, dropping burdens, all their responsibilities, confessing to Leo or ego, or to being strong, patient angel or Sagittarius or looking back going back or living in the past and now coming clean or getting clean breaking patterns and dropping the facade the act the performance for the Queen of Pentacles ten of cups happy family at 157 which is the magician and the three of swords separation for this happy family and at 157, which is separation of the happy family, which can reference the sham fam as well, that the family wasn't really happy and there's a separation going on, the train horn blew three times for the three swords. Now, crowning in this read is the six of pentacles reversed, standing up for self to heal and shine their light in an environment of being in debt, scammed, inequity, or just not sharing, falling in love and defending their honor for a new dawn, a new day, a new life. Break up or no affection for the King of Wands reversed, feeling foolish perhaps having been taken or taken for granted, ignored. Aries and Gemini and Aquarius here. There's a new passion, desire, inspiration or creativity for sovereign aligned with their desires now and taking dysfunctional family um, They're taking the dysfunctional family finances, divorce, instability, whatever the issues are, and using that fuel to manifest a new workplace, using heartbreak and separation to fuel your work and surrender to help others. Unburden self, sudden jealousy of Leo or ego, or the Knight of Cups offering love becomes strength in taming the inner beast to be love. Or, or fairy justice or sweet justice is an angel whispering in your ear that you are a butterfly with synchronicities and heaven in your eyes, dreams that are real, looking back at Scorpio, Libra, Leo, and Sagittarius and taming the beast where there's no options, no dates, grieving what used to be or grieving when you need to, allowing yourself and not judging yourself for that, doing shadow work to come clean, to get clean with dysfunction, dysfunctional family past lineage Right? So it doesn't even have to be in this lifetime. It can be this functional lineage that's coming up in your, in your DNA for clearing and break those patterns for the whole family and for the whole soul family. Soon for the masculine is the two of cups, the king of cups, connected with self in unconditional love, moving, ending marriage or visiting with a soulmate, offering inspiration and growth. The queen of swords reversed is still offering love to Sagittarius, patient angel, but perhaps insecure, without tools, and vulnerable, shy, feeling rejected, or like a crybaby. Or he is insecure without the tools, and she is the crybaby. He with a happy family? Or at least the Queen of Pentacles is happy or emotionally fulfilled, and she breaking patterns and codes. He is the Three of Wands reversed, looking or going back or living in the past, offering love to kids or twins as the Page of Cups reversed and the Page of Wands upright Inner children, both shy, vulnerable, crybabies, and inspired, feisty, and impish. Mama's boy and daddy's girl at 219, which is the high priestess and the sun, which is fully exposing each other's sunshine. 
offering love to the kids and the twins in uncomfortable feelings or energies that are around them. Getting to know each other, healing family issues, give your relationship a chance, and separation all come up for the Divine Masculine here. Around him or how he's seen is the tower, upright, exploding, erupting, epiphanies, a break in contract, relation, religion, establishment, divorce, or Taurus reversed, or spiritual or alternative beliefs, or unsatisfied or arrogant Queen of Wands, Taurus reversed, or Taurus is unhappy with the Queen of Wands Capricorn, or both are drinking and partying too much, or Scorpio, Taurus, and Capricorn are breaking up a group, or perhaps their negative influence, influences over indulging in addictions, or a ball and chain, or third party Capricorn, and the Queen of Wands Taurus reversed, erupt, or have an epiphany about each other. Or the Capricorn and the Queen of Wands realize that Taurus, Queen of Pentacles, is causing issues due to addictions or overindulgences, and the masculine needs to clear blocks regarding the Seven of Cups, synchronicities, their choices, and confusion when it gets too much. Post-war PTSD, imbalances, debt, scam, looting, inequity, not sharing with the Queen of Cups reversed. Illumination comes to the King of Swords reversed, and his negative control over the Queen of Cups reversed, or her manipulation and refusal to share or play fair, expecting her way, or she's meeting with the King of Swords reversed at night, perhaps a lawyer or friend helping her, because misery loves company, and they're both reversed here, one verbally abusive and the other emotionally manipulative, and pride and moderation came up here for the masculine. Feeling a fool, coming clean, getting clean, or still a bit sneaky, or impish, the Knight of Swords, Messenger of Truth, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed is coming up as no fantasy family, or him serving them, coming clean about guilt and shame, or getting clean, breaking patterns and facade, taking the mask off with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups family, or emotional fulfillment. The Queen of Pentacles with emotional fulfillment, perhaps. The Knight of Swords rushes in with a message or delivery to the Ten of Pentacles reversed family, connected to the King of Cups, Hermit reversed in an awakening. And the King of Cups can always be unconditional love because it is upright. And the Hermit reversed can be um, a professional, an old person, but someone either over isolating or now coming out about what they've learned in their wisdom by isolating. And that can be Virgo energy as well. Delivering a wake-up call to bring out of isolation a feeling or coming out of feeling like they're going crazy. And that's at 238, which is the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. So Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, and Sagittarius all came up there. So it's coming up a lot between the two families, the Ten of, of Cups upright and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And for me, in a standard read, the Ten of Cups is more of your immediate emotional family, right? Your husband or wife, your kids, that kind of thing. Whereas the Ten of Pentacles family is your childhood family or your past lineage, right? Or perhaps um, a business that you are involved with or that group that you associate your with, yourself with financially. So it's more of that uh, big institution, that kind of thing. So the Ten of Pentacles here is reversed, coming up as the dysfunction of the abundant family in our past lineage, right? And what that meant uh, societally and what we were expected to live up to because of that. But the Ten of the Ten of Cups is negative in the same sense because a lot of times the Ten of Cups is upright because it's a false illusion of a happy family, that they're just keeping up appearances, but they're not truly happy within. So neither family here is really truly happy. It's just the one has lost a lot of money or has dysfunctional issues within the, the dynamic of the family, and then the one, other one is pretending like there's no problems exist in the family. So that's the dynamic here. Um... Let's see here. So, um, and then I was getting the devil made me do it. So someone denying any culpability, right? So fault, and most of the time people don't want to blame you. They want you to, to um, admit your part in it because everybody always has a part in anything. And um, that was definitely a wound for me is a lot of the masculines um, denying um, that it was ever their fault. You know, like literally when, when my son was dropped on his head, his father denied <laughs> any responsibility for it. Or um, when my son's thumb got cut, automatically 
um, that person denied responsibility for it. Like he's fine while he's, his, his thumb is flayed open and he's gushing blood. So it's just really funny how the masculine wound is there about denying any ability because they would have been hanged or killed or, you know, dragged by a wagon. You know, there were a lot of consequences to being guilty. So falling for the sham fam's truth or the fool for their happiness and their truth, not his. All right. So it's like um, the masculine getting dragged into the, 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 the artificial ten of cups illusion, right? And them speaking on his behalf, which isn't his truth. Okay, so grieving the Ten of Pentacles reversed family and a breakup with the Queen of Pentacles Ten of Cups family or the families in the way of their love, like the Montagues and the Capulets. The devil or Capricorn may have fallen on their face from grace or lacking faith in himself in front of the Ten of Cups family, offering their truth as his truth as a cover-up. The King of Wands shaman reversed, feeling insecure without tools, or due to manipulations on his behalf or the King of Swords reverse behalf and feeling a fool for falling for their act. The chariot reverse is stuck, broke, broken, broke down, broke up, broke through or on the warpath, holding back feelings or energies of a heated exchange, letting go to repair, fix or mend the injustices of release and getting away with it. Okay, so this again is that masculine wound of getting away with something. And maybe getting a thrill out of getting away with something because in their past lineage, they would get killed or, or um, you know, made a fool of in public, right? Or humiliated or whatever the, the price was for, the, for what they did. So not coming fully clean, still being a little bit sneaky or lying in court and getting away with it by telling some of the truth, but not all of the truth, right? So getting people to trust you by telling some of the truth, but then holding back the worst of it so you don't really get into trouble. So the Capricorn with the truth, but is distorted by the family speaking on their behalf. The King of Wands and the King of Swords lying and manipulating the facts. In a downturn or twist of fate, the truth comes out about looking back, going back, or living in the past suddenly or about explosive events or epiphanies that came up. Suffering in silence, stressed out or purging, on fires, the truth ignites new passion about inequity or scam, challenged by heartbreak and separation. Looking back at soulmate connection, the messenger of truth, sudden events and epiphanies, and matching them up. The synchronicities in the dreams of the Knight of Swords, or the messenger of the 5D, that's between the Divine Feminine and Masculine, and the messenger of truth, Devil or Capricorn. And the Devil just references your shadow side, so we all have a shadow side, so it's nothing evil, it's just... Like that's the card that represents Capricorn because it's the goat. The messenger of truth, devil, or Capricorn. And the king of wands is reversed. The indigo is reversed, which is like the magician. And the king of swords all reversed. They're coming up as the bad guys, not the Capricorn who's upright. Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, and Aries, Virgo, and Gemini all here in this specific area at the end. Um, Cancer reversed and Libra reversed are coming clean. And the Cancer holding back some to let go and the Libra reversed is releasing anxiety by coming clean at 256, which is the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. So at 313, which is the Empress and the Death card, so there could be a death or a transformation, transition for the Empress, which can be a mother, a partner, a twin. Okay, so she can be lots of things. She can be Mother Nature as well. Um, the Eight of the, that was the end of the read. I did a little um, sub-read with my um, the Rider Waite, my main deck, um, just to get some confirmations. And I want to give you this information, too, because it, it definitely was in line with the main read. So the Eight of Cups was coming up reversed in uncomfortable energies of the King of Swords reversed deception of the Hierophant, Taurus, religion, establishment, societal norms, commitment to clarity or new information supplied, and trusting where it came from heard it through the grapevine and that came up yesterday twice the lobster doesn't know who to believe or his stance has been weakened as the dogs are let back in under control again the boys club cross keys double crossed by ownership or own urgent ship or shipment cruise or mercy ship deceived by taurus or committing to cancer reversed or committing to a cure the, re the recent past here was the Queen of Pentacles reversed, ungrounded by some new information that came into her, 
and the foundation being the Eight of Pentacles reversed, news or overwork or no working at all, the masculine with eight and her with one, or he makes all the money and she spends or puts on or is put on an allowance um, and just spending issues coming up here. And it can be for either one of them. Or she finds out he's been hoarding his coins or aligning with new desires that she is unaware of. The central energy is the Knight of Swords reversed, sharp words or holding your tongue, and the challenge being weakness or ego or ego death or Leo that's out of control. Now, crowning was the surrender, and soon coming up is the tower reversed in the aftermath of the sudden events that happened in the main read here. He is starting over in love and around him coming clean, getting or getting clean. The masculine needs to clear blocks of the Ace of Pentacles reversed, which can be great riches, which can be associated with with um, you know, bad energy, like tainted money. Um, so they may hold back on becoming abundant because they have this wound. So holding back money and saving as opposed to allowing great riches to come in and doing exactly what you want to that you know your heart's desires. It also can be holding back a new life to save money. Um, or just holding back your time, money, money, and energy from someone else. And I always get uh, playing ball with that as well. So it could be playing sports. The Knight of Cups offers love and surrender to their soulmate, a sibling or friend, in order to be or find happiness again. Okay. So I'm going to pull you a few Oracle cards and I'll show you the read as well. All right. Let's see what we have here. We'll start with the animal deck. Everybody take a deep breath. Today is... February 6th, 2020. So for everybody watching and the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all those concerned and fill with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what is the message for everyone here? What was the point of this read, and what does everyone still need to know? What is their takeaway from this? That came right out. That flipped out. The world, 21, completion. The Shetland Sheepdog, congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. That's like graduation day, guys. That's amazing. I'm getting like a Caesar energy here, too. That's like the other card. I forget which deck that is. Maybe the energy deck where it looks, it's called Victory, and it has that same Caesar-type crown, right? Where it's a live crown here, whereas it's the, you know, the thorn crown on Jesus' head. There's a reference there. Um, this card also, there's, let's see, two more cards once to come out, to come out and be seen. The underlying energy is the Two of Autumn. The Abyssinian Cat is you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and professional life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. I love the look on this cat's face. <laughs> like, that's anxiety. The other two cards that wanted to come out are 14 of Balance, which is the zebra. And that's by merging varying points of view, you can generate an extraordinary new idea. Compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution. Right? Two heads are better than one. And the, the Ragdoll Cat, Nine of Autumn. Your success has brought you financial security and the reward of much-deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. Okay, so there's some very positive energy here. And it sounds like you might may be coming together with other people or other person Um, to make your dreams come up. Oh, purple, green, purple, green. is Both the cards in the numerology deck were purple and green in the underlying energy, and they were in the cards that I pulled out for the main read were purple and green, and then look at the cards that you just looked at. They're both purple, green, purple, green, exactly like the numerology cards. So third eye and heart are really important right now. All right, so this is the Metatron deck. Take another deep breath, guys. I was just getting for some of you that stubbornness is actually right now a positive trait for you. For those of you who always gave in to other people, 
your stubbornness is going to be um, a positive trait for you because you pursued what you wanted to do, um, which you may have even felt stubborn about, but you pursued it because you knew it was something you love to do, whether other people agree with it or not. So, and that's not for everyone. That's only for the ones who are usually, you know, would concede to other people to make them happy. Um, that's for you. All right. So this is from the Metatron deck. Metatron, what do we need to take away from you from this read? What is your message to us? Metatron, what is our message? Oh, there we go. There's two cards here. We have passion, a love for life. That's perfect. All right. 25 is the Knight of Wands, who's very passionate for life, right? Out and about doing things, having fun. In using your heart and your third eye with the purple coming in here. But we also have all the yellows, oranges, and reds here too, right? Coming from a strong foundation. And there's a little bit of heart mixed in here with the yellow. But we have the picture of the heart, so that's representative of the green energy. And then this card also wanted to come out, which are very, the, the colors are almost identical here. Um, endings that you are held. 45 is the Five of Cups, right? So some grieving maybe that you're still doing or that you may go through. Wait a minute, there's just some other cards that are dropping out. Okay. So the colors are just matching perfectly here. And we have a love for life. And remember that when even when there's endings and sometimes it doesn't feel like you have a love for life, you are being held. Okay, because you see the colors are the same. It's the same as when you were over here. It's just you're over here. So just allow and it's all okay. Right, it's not, you're not being forced to walk the plank. That's not the purpose. <laughs> and there's two birds in this too, right? So when you can't deal with the energies down here, like this one, you don't need the birds, right? Because everything's perfect, but when it's not so perfect and you may be feeling sorrow or grief, fly high in the air, right? Connect with your third eye more, connect with your higher self more, okay? Um, the, the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck is this card, New Dawn, and that came up very much this week. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, so welcome back. <laughs> so if you've been going through a dark night journey and you're feeling yourself again, welcome back. Number 10, a turn for the better. The sun is coming out, there's the sunshine. Let the sun shine. Isn't that from Aquarius? Let the sun shine in the sun shine in. All right, so that's coming up. And then these three cards and spirits connecting with me, they want to be seen, seen too. Codependency is the key to freedom, right? Right, you don't need to lock yourself in. 53 is the Knight of Swords, speaking your truth. And don't be afraid to speak your truth, that somebody won't like you if you, if you speak your truth. Okay. Allow, your, allow yourself to be free. You can live with someone and be free at the same time, right? So if someone doesn't allow you freedom by living with them, they're restricting you to be you. And that's where the codependency comes in. We also have creation, expansion in your life, right? So we're being called that we're probably gonna end up coming together with your twin or other people to create as far as your mission and work. Number three, with the earth as well to help heal the earth. And then the inner child, hear and know me. So don't just speak and pretend to listen. Really hear the other person and what they're saying to you. Feel with your heart what they're saying. All right. So hearing has to do with feeling, not just using your brain. All right. 36 is the 10 of wands, and that's the weight of the world upon your shoulders, right? And that's what every mother does with their child, right? The weight of the world upon their shoulders to take care of such just be this beautiful little blessing they've been given. And it's not a, just about... It's not just about the infant being heard. It's about the mother being heard too. Right? Both want to be heard. To have patience and compassion with each other. And obviously, little children have limitations. So they have to take that into consideration. In their understanding. Okay? All right. So, then the energy deck. It's about the connection of the soul as opposed to the person. So when you're connecting souls, what size you are as a person really has no significance because the soul has no age. 
it's about love and that's it. When you connect in love, you can connect at any age. So from the energy deck, what do we need to know? What is the last word from the energy deck? All right, we have 11 again, cornucopia. This came up yesterday, I believe it was. All right, so you have an abundance here at your disposal. This is the number uh, 11, which is justice, which is happiness and abundance. It's not about getting even or getting justice, right? The universe will do that for you and provide you with abundance. So allow the abundance to come in. And here's that other card I was telling you about with the wreath there, with victory. And this is about the victory of, and this is like the crown of Jesus. The, it's more of the, like the thorny crown. And so there's two references there. And 28, of course, is the two of wands or the twin flames. So it's about the victory of the twins and the abundance, okay? And the, car, the colors in these cards are very similar, right? The, the justice of the twins in their abundance and victory of love. The bottom of the deck is, again, the man holding the heart, 45, right? He could be grieving. The five of cups is about grieving, loss, regret, guilt, and shame. So being able to let go of those things in order to come together, a man holding the heart. And there's very much that red. This red reminds me of the red in my, my mandala that I see in my meditation. It's very much like that like hot pink red in the colors of these little flowers. I don't know how well it comes across on the video, but that's the color I see. And behind the man holding the heart is the sun. I was just kind of curious. And then, oh look, the sun and then the, the woman holding the heart. Perfect, you guys. That's the underlying energy for your read here. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You never notice how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Beneath those three, you had um, Archangel Metatron, like kind of you know, like this is the push, right? Because this is the underlying energy. So Metatron was coming up from behind to push this to come together, okay? And that's where we're coming in at. And be because before Metatron, you're all tied up. Very interesting. That was perfect. All right, and then I'll do the, I'll do this, the Nature's Whispers deck, and then I'll do the, um, the Kipper deck, and that'll be it. It was just 4747, which is all your dreams come true. The dreams are true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. The dreams can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. Okay, nature's whispers. This is a whole nother energy. All right, so what is our message from Nature's Whispers from Gaia? What is our message? What do you want us to know? Ooh. That when everything is falling apart and a few of these cards fall on the floor, the bottom of the deck is 24, which is the end of karma. That's the Queen of Wands and Omega, the end of karma. Be your best self always. So if you have the queen of wands in your life, it probably means that you're ending karma, so it's a good thing. So you have to take it in perspective, okay? So there's you riding the seahorse. The underlying energy. Ah. There, it looks like they're, like they're, it's like they just dropped into the water, right? Right before you're about to come up for air. That's what this is. This is the moment before the hour. You're just, it's like she's waiting to jump up and surprise the audience out of the water. That's what I'm getting here. Be your best self always, right? So she's being ready just in case when she comes out of the water, she has an audience. And then the cards that fell on the floor for you guys, this is the first one out by itself. Trust your own understanding, which is what I just said was important for you guys who, who need to be more stubborn about your point of view. 32 is the Six of Wands, the journey, the journeyman. 
trust your own understanding on the journey. And the colors are beautiful. Very um, gem type colors in this, this card. She's over, she's taking off a mask, but she's saying, I'm gonna put my mask back on if you, if you refuse to see me as I am. There are butterflies and an island down below. Oh, very interesting. All right, so we have, this is her, this is you on the seahorse in the, under the water waiting to come up. And here she is above waiting to come down to the water. These are the two perspectives, right? Up in the air and down under the deep water, the deep emotions and the etheric realms where she can take off her mask, but she don't, does she dare come down further to here to the humans without her mask? Will she be understood? And this is where she's more grounded and free to play, ready to pop up out of the water at any minute. I love that. So that's the Queen of Wands at the end of Karma, right? Because Karma is in 3D. And here's the 32 of the journey, flying, flying high in 5D. Beautiful. The other two cards that came out, oh, there's three cards here. 49 is Heighten Your Vitality, which is also the Nine of Cups. If you get your wish card, right? Your wish is my command. Heighten Your Vitality um, by, right, the energy. being one with the world, meditating, going out and communing with nature. This is like, oh, this is the same as what I got before. It's not a different picture, but it was another picture with the rainbow went all around the globe. It's saying that the rainbow bridge, the 4D bridge is now completed, it's round. So people are starting to go into the 5D now because the 4D is complete. This is the 4D rainbow. She looks a little dazed and confused because she's been on a, a tough journey. This is her coming right off the bridge. She's like, what the heck? What just hit me? That's literally what's getting. Heighten your vitality as you come into 5D. You're getting your wish. This is also like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And all three of these cards have the same bottom. Exactly. Well, this one's a little darker, but they're all under this pink compassion, this rose pink. Have compassion for yourself. Here's the 37 of the King of Cups. Unconditional love, the ideal course of action is unconditional love. Okay? Starting with yourself, right? Pampering yourself treats you like an empress with a goddess, right? You have some uh, flamingos down there. And what else? There's a, there's a, uh, a sailing ship there and a polar bear and a lion. It's like um, representative of the different times of the year and the different places that they're all part of you. Your ship's always coming in. You're always flowering with abundance. You always have an abundant path to follow and your castle always awaits. The ideal course of action is to just be unconditional love, starting with yourself as you cross into the 5D bridge. And then we have the 10 the 10 of the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the turn for the better, your destiny, open your heart. That's your destiny, to open your heart and allow it to stay open to everyone, everyone's differences. And you notice there's a masculine energy next to her. Okay, so for even, even when she's playing with the, the swan or the goose or whatever it is, she knows that her twin is always with her. And when she expresses love to the, to the goose, she's also expressing that love to the twin. There's also some little like fairies within here as well playing. And there's um, a swan or a swan flying above. <sighs> this is the one in between. So the other two that I showed you. So these are the two up and down, right below and above. And this is the one on land in between, okay? So we have the 24, the 10, and then the 32, but you notice the in-between though is the lowest number here. It's the 10 though, which is that high vibration. This is the ending of karma, right? Leaving behind those deep emotions, right? Of ego. 
and then the journey in order to raise you to the high vibration. This is the zero point, the midpoint. Yeah, and this is the coming coming off the bridge. I love this, like the coming home card. And there's home. These were beautiful. All right, now from the Kipper deck, and then we'll be all set. It was just 5505, you guys. What is the message here from the Kipper deck? <sighs> Mature man and distant horizons and a gift. So somebody might be coming. Oh, look. Leaving behind something that they were used to on distant horizons, a journey, with a gift, the gift of the present moment and themselves, no matter what condition they're in. And here's the message that she's receiving him of concern. Aw, that's so sweet. And then the bottom of the deck is the triple sevens of sudden wealth, because wealth is not just money, it's about abundance, after having um, gone through some legal channels, possibly with a child, and work, all right? So there might have been other women involved, whether it's your family, your kids, your work, right? And then sorting everything out and then hitting, hitting the jackpot, okay? That's the underlying energy. So everything is going just as it's meant to. And we, we hit 5555 five, five, five during that as well. All right, so here's all the cards for you guys. You have the great wheel there, the underlying energy. The nine of orbs was the past. Right, we're leaving that in the past now. No more nine of orbs. The ace of orbs is upright along with the ace of orbs in the center of the reed, challenged by the three of swords, which is separation. The other underlying energies, crowning with that six of pentacles or crystals. And scrolling across the bridge here to the two of cups. The masculine seeing himself is the three of flames, reversed, like looking back at the past or doing shadow work. And then the tower is upright here around him with the seven of chalices being the blocks he needs to clear around dreams, that dreams are real and true. And there's the purple and green and purple and green I told you about. And then we end up on the Knight of Swords there, which is upright with the devil upright above him. The King of Wands, the Magician or Indigo above him and then the King of Swords, all three of them are reversed. And then we end up with the Seven of Swords reversed, right? So that's about coming clean, but there may still be some sneakiness in those energies if it's actually present at all, right? Because there's no real need for that card to ever be present. Okay, if we're in unconditional love all the time. So drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature, and just remember not to take everything so seriously. Try to treat it more like a game and that um, everything's perfect in every moment and you are always loved. So just remember that. Rise and be love, you guys. I will see you later.